Welcome back, Hallmark Hot Takers, to episode oh. nine of season five of Hallmark Hot Takes with Heidi and Jason, where we watch, rate, and review all of the Countdown to Christmas movies from the Hallmark Channel. We're almost a third in. <laughs> it's never going to end. Well, no, that's true. I'm sad. You're sad? Yeah. Is this a sad one? Like, it ends sad? No, no. this is like... This is like I'm resigned to my fate. Yeah, you know, like the newness has worn off. Yeah, well, honeymoon's over. Yeah. All right. You got to explain the rating system. Candy cane based rating system. Half candy cane to five candy canes. Combine them to get a score out of 10 possible candy canes. And those ratings are based on how much we liked or disliked this movie. So tonight's offering is called Holiday Mismatch, starring Caroline Rhea and Beth Broderick. Some of you who grew up in the 90s might remember them from a little show called... Sabrina. The Teenage Witch, in case you were a fan. Mm -hmm. But anyhow, let's dig into, dive in, dive into the rapid recap. So meet Barbara, who is a recently retired accountant who volunteers at the Chamber of Commerce to be on the holiday committee, which is run by Kath, who is a, sort of a free-spirited, you know, fly by the seat of your pants. Naturally, these two don't hit it off, being uh, different personality types, and uh both of them on their own uh, try to hook their kids up via a dating app. Unbeknownst to both of them, their kids, Shane and Lauren, yep. match with each other. They find this out, so they're like, oh, well, we can't let this continue. We have to find a way to break them up. Unbeknownst to them, Shane and Lauren decide to fake date just to get their mothers off their back. It's a whole big thing, so the whole movie is the, the mom's trying to break them up them fake dating, but then they're really having feelings for each other. And of course, this all comes to a head at the end when they find out they're fake dating. And Barbara and Kath actually forge a friendship, but they've ruined the relationship between Shane and Lauren. So they have to try and fix that. And they do. So Shane and Lauren actually do get together and Barbara and Kath become friends and they all spend Christmas together. And that is Holiday Mismatch. That is a great recap. Thank you. That's probably one of my best ones. Well, well done. I feel like. Well done. Thank you. You do an amazing job of taking two hours of a movie and putting it into just a couple minutes. It's Thank you. I appreciate it. Great that. job. Thank you. you. Would you like to review this? I always like okay, to review Okay, wonderful. It. All right, let's dive into the review portion. Done via likes and dislikes. And we have to decide what we're going to talk about first. Likes? Likes. 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 Now, if you're a fan of the show, if you're one of the 72 subscribers, you'll know that when we start with likes, sometimes it doesn't end well. It's a tell. I'll, I'll, I'll let everyone know. Whatever we start with, it goes the other way. Generally speaking, I don't can't speaking. I cannot think of the time it didn't, but that might have been early episodes. Maybe the first. Well, we didn't really know what we 50. were doing. The first fifty. All right. What uh? <laughs> what did you like? The jolly julep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Barbara's husband made her a drink called the jolly julep. They were drinking a lot. Yeah. yeah. Like really a couple hit eggnog, eggnog at some point as well. Um, I like that. I have the Jolly Julep as well. I have the turkey supper sandwich. Oh, yeah. The turkey uh, that was a thing sandwich. that they made. For... It made me think of the moist yeah, maker. It's exactly what it made me think of. Friends. So, yeah. I, I, I like that. Um, I really liked um, the uh, the daughter, Lauren. She was cute as a button. She was cute as a button. I liked that she was a hotel architect. Yeah. I thought that was cool. And then uh, I liked, uh, I always liked the fact of when people wear ugly sweaters and it's not an ugly sweater and somebody says, oh, cute, ugly sweater. And they're like, no, this is my regular sweater. I thought that was funny. I thought the rat in the Christmas tree was funny at first because they got a Christmas tree and then there ended up being a rat in it. But a rat seemed weird then to me because, like, she might have been like a squirrel or a chipmunk, not like a rat. Like, it was like a, a big rat. rat. They didn't live like in the city, they lived in this small town. Yeah, like, I did not like the rats. Rat. It's a big white rat. Um, Somewhere. there was 
a witch reference oh, yes, at the at very the end. end. I don't know if I liked it or not, but it was there. I'm yeah. neutral on it. And I thought Shay and Lauren were kind of cute. I did. I did like them. Yeah. I did like them. Yeah. But I anyway. like the improv at the theater. I thought that was that was interesting. I did not like that. Okay. All right, let's get into the negatives. Not many likes. So much forced humor that wasn't funny. The two guys on the committee with them, I don't know why they were there. They were totally useless. Useless. They were volunteers. You know why they're volunteers? Because no one will pay them. They are incompetent. <laughs> and if you get that reference, give yourself a star. For you know what? Give yourself a candy cane. Yeah, give yourself two candy canes. <laughs> okay, now you're getting crazy. Um, um, I wrote twice, I hate this movie. They are the worst. I wrote, I hate them. Yes. Now listen, Barbara and Kath. Very annoying. I... I don't know what their shtick was. This movie had potential to be funny, but it they it couldn't. The 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 forced just them at each other's throats, it just didn't work for me. It didn't work for me. Whoever the guy who was supposed to play Santa, the one volunteer. Yeah. Okay, there was this whole scene where he was supposed to play Santa for the kids. And he locks himself in this room because there's too much pressure for him to play Santa. And he just is so stressed out and they have to like talk him off the ledge. And it's meant to be a moment where like Barbara and Kath come together and solve a problem. This guy is a grown ass man. He's like in his 40s. At least. And he's having a meltdown about playing Santa for a bunch of six year olds. Dude, yeah. grow up. Yeah. I did not like that. I thought Barbara was made, I, I don't know what she's been in since The Teenage Witch. Probably nothing, because it was awful acting. Whoa! Whoa! Yikes, shots fired on Barbara. That's... that's it was good. painful. It was painful. The like, she had no personality. Like, that wasn't writing. Like, the writers were like, hey, play this as you have no personality and incredibly boring, and everyone will not like you. She like, was very, like... But it wasn't like... Her like, delivery was very rote and... Right. She was a robot. Yeah. Like, she... The, horrible. Like, horrible. At one point... No personality. I said no personality. She's creepy at some point. Like, she was creeping me out. At one point, Shane says that Lauren has inspired him... To keep his theater. He runs a theater. as yeah. his job. Yeah, okay. Which I didn't really get because there was nothing in any of this movie about him, her inspiring him. And I thought there was just a lot of forced platitudes like that to try yeah. and sell their relationship. Um, his brother, oh. Shane's brother. The worst. Is the worst brother ever. He... Like, Shane tells him a secret. Shane tells him that the, he's fake dating Warren to right. get mom off of his back and asks him specifically to keep his secret. And what does the brother do in the next scene? He goes and tells the mom what the bad brother. He's a bad brother. And it wasn't even necessary for the plot. He's just a bad brother. He's not good with secrets. Didn't like well, it. No, and he also, his paperwork about him selling the theater was wide open where dad saw it. Right. So he's... Can't, can't even keep that secret. Can't keep anything. He's a bad secret keeper. Bad brother. I didn't... The whole fake date thing was weird because, like, their date wasn't bad. Right. Like, they were getting along pretty well. It wasn't like you've got a date, like, a lot. Like, you'd just be like, hey, you know what? That was a nice time. We Maybe might see each other see again. each other again. Why did it have to be this big thing? Yeah. That's what was wrong with this movie is the whole premise of it was so contrived that it, it, so... it didn't need to happen. No. They had this caroling trolley. One of the events was Yeah, Trump. I got that too. Isn't the whole point... So they're in a trolley. Yes. Driving around town, singing. Yep. In the trolley. In, in, in the trolley. Isn't the whole point of caroling to go out and sing for other people? I didn't understand that. My comment says, who are they singing to? Right. Themselves. Exactly. Themselves. It didn't make any sense. I... 
Um, and I then, wanted to know what Lauren's partner did, her partner in the business. She's the, the big, big, uh, the Because the Lauren seemed to do all the work and her partner yeah. didn't do shit. Yeah. I'd have fired her ass. Yeah, I... Um... I, Barbara was such a horrible actress that I couldn't believe that she knew what a spreadsheet was. When she's like, oh, I put these in these spreadsheets, all these... And she hyperlinked Hyperlink. I'm like, no, you didn't, Barb. Barbie didn't. Barbara. Barbara. You you don't know anything. And then, okay, I didn't get why when the fallout between Shane and Lauren happened. Because the the premise of that was he was going to sell the theater. Right. Okay. And then he decided not to sell the theater and re refurbish it. But then when they had the falling out, he had decided he was going to sell the theater. And she, like was mad about that. Like, you've known this guy for, right. I don't know, maybe two weeks. Right. What, it's none of your damn business if he decides or changes his mind from one day to another about what he's going to do with the theater. He doesn't owe you anything. Yeah, that was. Bizarre. I thought that was bizarre that she was mad about that. And why, if he sells the theater, does he then have to leave town? Right. They made that like a big thing. Like, if he sells this, he's gone. Well, why? It, is well, he I mean, being kicked out? Like, is he only have residency in the town because he owns this theater? That was really weird, and I didn't like it. I'm gonna call back to that jolly julep. When she drank it, she said delicious, but her face didn't say it yes, was delicious. Did you catch know. that? You think that she's a bad actress? That's why. Well, she no, can't act like she no, no. likes a drink. She's horrible. You want a candy cane? This thing? No, because I have one more. Okay. Please. This whole movie was a bunch of adults acting like children. Okay. And I did not like that. Okay. You don't have anything else? No. I mean, they go like all of a sudden to from fake dating to kissing a ton and like kissing in front of people like at Christmas. Like they're sitting there like almost singing Christmas carols and they're like making out on the chair. It's weird. It was just so weird. This movie was pointless. Pointlessly you, dumb. What do you got for it, Hyde? Listen. Lead us off. Listen. I know you're going to be happy about this, Jay. Yeah. And I'm pretty confident that we are of one accord <laughs> here. And I have to say, I dislike this movie intensely to yeah. the point where I'm a little bit angry. I had to watch it. Yeah. And, um, but for, I kind of like Shane and Lauren slightly. They right. were not enough to save this movie. And I am giving it a half a candy cane. That's a good rating. A half candy. Like, I, I really liked Lauren. Oh, okay. Okay. But not enough. Not this enough. This movie is so awful, they're going to show this in all the prisons. <laughs> <laughs> this is a half candy cane. <laughs> One candy cane. Welcome. Welcome to the hell. Hot, hot takes. This is hell. Welcoming it to the Hallmark Hot Takes Hell of Candy Cane ratings. This is a one candy. You cane. get one candy cane, and it's only because we can only give it a half. We've had this argument in past seasons. You can't give it zero. It gets a half for just showing up. You just get a half. So and you... listen, I liked Lauren and Shane. If they were, but again, even parts of their thing were stupid. I just, the, the, I don't know if it was, the, I don't know what it was. I think they will do better in the future when they do another movie. This was a slog. This was it the took worst. forever. And I needed two, not one, but two alcoholic beverages to right. get through it. Yeah. I almost need an alcoholic beverage to get through this review of it. No, this is fun. <laughs> I like to give reviews. I don't know if you guys have realized this, but I like to give my opinion about yeah. things. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, this is a Hell Dweller, one candy cane. Let's move on. Suck. It had to happen sometime. Suck fest population in this movie. It had to happen sometime. Yeah. So. All right. Want to preview? Something that is. probably is better? It has good chances. Yes. Yeah, so let's preview. Uh, before we do the preview, oh. I would just like Public to service announcement. point out that... My feelings on this holiday mismatch were correct. When I saw it, I said, I don't think I'm going to like that. And I was right. Because you, you saw a little bit of Barbara's acting <laughs> in those commercials. I just had a feeling it was going to be not good. 
So yeah. anyhow, let's move on. We're gonna we're gonna move on to Trivia at St. Nick's, starring Tamin Sursak and Brant Daughtry. So this movie, I like we like trivia. I like trivia. We like trivia. So um students at an elite university in Vermont uh Wait, I said that wrong. There's like a there's 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 a Christmas bar trivia tournament with some smart people, and then they find this. Uh, I guess he's probably like a meathead football player, and yeah, you know they got to go through all that. So I, it maybe it'll be fun. I think there's like some scavenger hunting and things like that. So maybe a little Christmas adventure story. I can't wait. I'm gonna predict it right now. I'm gonna go on a limb. I'm gonna say it's better than the mismatch. I think it's going to be. Right. I feel good about it. Yeah. And the acting will be significant. Dude, you got to let it go, man. You're like a dog with a bone. No, I'm, just, I'm just letting it be known. All right. Again, I'm sure the actress who plays Barbara is a fine, nice lady. Well, you can't. You, you've but, already dogged her, man. But. You can't. You can't be nice now. She can't act. <laughs> <laughs> she can't act. She can't sing. And she can't. Uh, a triple threat. Triple threat. All right. All right. Peace.